Hi everyone, we're here at OLPC in Boston, Massachusetts. Uh, I'm here with Richard Smith, who's been working on power on our Exo laptop and tablet. And we, uh, at CES this week, we're showing our Exo 3 tablet with solar panels. And Richard's going to show us uh, a demo of the Exo 175 laptop running off a solar panel directly. Richard, is this true? Can we really? Is this the first laptop and the first tablet to be able to run directly off a solar panel? I believe that it's true, and uh, this seems to be the proof. What we have here is the standard OLPC 10 watt solar panel and our uh, irradiance meter, which currently is measuring around 700 watts per meter squared, which means that this 10 watt panel will be producing approximately uh, 7 watts. Uh, now it's up to 800. It's the, with the Boston winter here, it's been fluctuating in the 500 to 1,000. Uh, like right now, it'll be full output of 10 watts. I have here our, a voltmeter and a custom modified power cable that allows us to measure both the voltage from the output of the panel and the current before it goes into the XO. And you can see that these numbers um, will change with respect to what the sun does as the sun comes and dims it out. And then we have, finally, we have our XL 1.75, which is running the Spanish version of Wikipedia currently. And we have removed the battery. So there are no power sources to the laptop except the DC input coming directly from the solar panel. So you can imagine a kid sitting under a tree somewhere in the developing world with one of these laptops or a tablet. Maybe they've got a solar panel just for them. Maybe they've got a larger solar panel charging a bunch of batteries for the kids in their, in their class together. And they're totally off the grid. There's no need for any kind of, uh, uh, you know, fossil fuels, nothing like that going on. Yes. And now I'm, and when you were, if you're doing this in the re real world, we have the battery removed for effect. But if you're doing this in the real world, you would of course still have the battery in. And that would help cover up the times when the cloud comes over and the sun briefly dips down. Um, but it's easy to imagine that with a 10 watt panel, you could actually go outside and work with the laptop and, and have a net power draw of zero or actually even charge the battery. Um, with the, the solar panel that's being shown at the tablet, that was a four watt uh, panel. And so that would uh, maybe just barely get you by or just a little bit of charging um, depending on what the solar conditions are. Because uh, as you can see, a lot of times we don't even get full output of the panel because the, the sun's never fully bright all the time. I see. So you're okay even with a smaller solar panel because the point isn't to do the, the sort of the cheeky demo that we're doing here where we're running the laptop just off the solar panel. The point is to use solar to charge the battery and then to, after the sun goes down, use the battery that, you, that you've yes. charged. So you want to be outside. If you have available sunlight, you certainly don't want to be draining your battery when you don't have to. And a lot of this is possible in this setup because of our sunlight readable display on the 175. Um, if this were a normal laptop or a normal tablet, you wouldn't even be able to see this display in the bright sun um, because it would be completely washed out. But our sunlight readable display allows us not only to read in the sunlight, it allows the backlight to be power to be almost minimal. So that's just power we don't have to use. Meanwhile, you don't uh, on a on a commercial setup. Uh, laptop or, or tablet, you actually have to increase the backlight to be able to see it out. So you take it outside, you're going to use more power than you normally would, whereas we use less. The reason I like this demo is that uh, we often get asked, you know, why are you guys still making laptops? Can't, aren't they cheap enough now? And it's true that they've been getting a bit cheaper, but uh, what we're really showing here is the fact that we've got the sunlight readable screen and that we're pushing the power envelope to be so much lower than anyone else. Uh, and these are really obvious things that are needed for the kids that we're targeting, where you don't have a grid with electricity uh, available all the time, almost for free, which is sort of what we see here. And you don't have, uh, you can't go indoors and use your, your backlight. So we're really making appropriate technology here. Yeah, our CTO, Ed McNerney, likes to say, how big does your battery have to be when there's nowhere to plug it in? And uh, this is the answer. It actually doesn't have to be very big at all if you can run directly off of solar. Great. Well, thank you very much, Richard. Thank Would you, you like to prove to us that you're really running this off the solar panel by uh, uh, 
Absolutely, I can. When I remove this plug, which will drop the power, you will see the lap the display just disappear. And you will also see uh, that the current here will go to zero. So there, there you go. That is it. There's press the power button. There's no action. Cool. Thank you very much.